I'm going to feel like an eggs. I hope you're doing super well. This is part one of a two day weekend of Lego extravaganza. So it's technically my birthday next weekend, but with the bar releasing tomorrow, I have just decided this is the weekend we're going to celebrate with Lego in style. So what's the plan? Well, you can probably tell from this video, there's a hole involved. There's in fact, multiple holes involved and actually the first part of the haul starts today because i got sent an offer online and i could not refuse really excited to show you what i got and then tomorrow i'm going to take you along to the lego store for the borrow release i'm so excited that this year is like not 400 pounds and it's also the borough, which is like probably my favorite location out of all the Harry Potter locations. I really love the original set that came out in like, I don't know, 2020, 2018, I don't know, some time ago or anyway. That was one of my first big Lego sets that I bought after I got back into Lego. I know I'm gonna want to get it and it's my birthday, so I feel like I can justify it to myself this time. So it's gonna basically be my birthday present and I'm very, very, very excited. We're gonna be there for opening, but before we get there, let's dive into the Animal Crossing hall. Wow. Wow, big box. Yay, it's open. It's a little bit overkill, as you can see. There's actually one more thing in here that isn't Lego Animal Crossing, but I will show you the things that I got. Let me put this box on the floor. So the first thing that I got is this cute little set. This is probably my least favorite Animal Crossing set that I've been out because both the minifigures in the set I'm not that fussed about. However, if I'm collecting all of them, I may as well get actually all of them. This is only £20, so with this card, I got it for like, probably end up getting like 40% off, so it's not that bad. Just so you know, I spent a 47 50 for like every single thing, but that's including delivery costs, which is £5. So that was a bit annoying, but Fairy does that. Anyway, that was my first set. So next up, I got the cheapest of them all, the smallest set with Julian, because I love Julian, he's so cute. Um, and also this one comes with like the pink tree, which we haven't seen in the other sets. So I'm actually really excited for this. It's such a tiny, sweet little, it's just cute. Okay, I know there's not much in it, but for the money you get, I needed the minifigure, obviously. And then the last Animal Crossing set that I got was... <laughs> so this is actually a set that I'm gonna be building with Alberto today. So we're just gonna call each other and just build and chat which is very exciting i've also started playing animal crossing again and he's been helping me like figure out how i'm doing things because i never really got very far so i'm excited i'm looking forward to making our island look pretty but this is a, obviously from the newest range so basically this means that the only set i haven't got so far is resident services which like oops that that escalated quickly i really really love the set i think the shape of this thing at the top is a bit weird but for like 30 pounds, which is what it retails for at the moment, the figures are just amazing. And then the last thing, just to get up, because all those sets together came to 59.97, typically. So I had to add something else, which this is like probably a very out of the blue, you're gonna be surprised. But I also bought this, but I've been looking at this for such a long time. I really like the details in the set. I think it's really sweet. I like the stickers, I like the rugs. I'm very excited. So that is all I got. So, you know, happy birthday to me. You could say I'm well and truly lost to the Animal Crossing lifestyle. Anyway, it's time to go to the Lego store. Good morning, it is Sunday. It is one exact week to my birthday. So I'm officially calling it my birthday week. <laughs> Sorry, yay. I'm just gonna like slide past the fact that it's September now, which is kind of terrifying. But it's the burrow time! I'm so excited. So basically I've got ready. I'm gonna probably get to Bristol for like 10.30. The store opens at 11. I thought half an hour is fine. I don't need to be like first in line. I just I just want to be there when it opens because it's fun. I am very hyped. Um, as you can probably tell. I will keep you updated. I'll do my best to vlog. I promise you I'm not the best. I'm striving for better all the time. I anyway, know I'm just rambling now because I'm excited. <laughs> Let's go! Arrive, so let's go queue and see how many people there are. We are here. Hope you are just arriving because all the shops are about to open. I'm nearly at the Lego store and I'm seeing some familiar faces. I think the minifigure is there. We are here. Oh my god, I can see it. It's right there. I'm very excited. 
<laughs> Sneakily behind there is the Zelda set, which I actually really love. Look at that. <laughs> I need this. I wish it was cheaper. Five minutes to go. I was very successful but filming was really hard because it was super busy so I tried to get the footage that I could but it wasn't it wasn't as successful as I was hoping but I will show you my purchases when I get home. I was a few there was a few things I wanted that I didn't get so I've been very restrained what can I say oh, what a glamorous angle this is um I've made it back to my car so I'm just gonna be driving home but I bought one little impulse buy Um, I have a whole box coming this afternoon. I'm not keeping the whole box. I was originally keeping two sets, but I decided the burrow is more important. But I did get one extra one. I have no idea what this is. I didn't bother scanning it. I just thought I'd get one just because I could. So let's just open it right now. Oh, oh, it's a really cool one. Look at the really thin package for the cape. It used to be like a whole box and now it's just flat. Whoa, that cape is beautiful. Look at it. I have no knowledge. I also don't know what this is, but it looks cool as hell, so I don't mind. How cool is that? That's not bad for my little impulse purchase. It would have been great to get one like with a like animal companion, because obviously you want animals more than one, but at the same time, I think this is like a really unique and striking figure, so I'm really excited about it. Obviously, super stupid idea to, you know, unpack this in the car when like the spare pieces will go everywhere, but you know, I have such good ideas. Anyway, I'm gonna go drive home and I'm gonna show you the rest of the haul. See you in a minute. Well, hello, I've made it home. I'm in the same spot as yesterday for my second haul. All right, here it goes. Obviously, none of you are shocked by the fact that I bought this. I end up using VIP points, so I end up getting it for 180, which in my head, like, feels way better. I don't know, under 200 pounds just feels so much more affordable than, like, anything over. So, um, I'm glad I had some VIP points to spend on this. And obviously, as you know, it's the Harry Potter weekend. So there's lots of special gift purchases. So I got this set, which I think is mediocre, but fine. So I don't think I'll open this because he's not, ex like, I have him as part of Dagon Alley, so don't really need the figure, so I'll probably leave it closed for a minute. But I also got the clock, and I'm actually super curious about this. So it's sealed shut. I know Star Wars have had boxes like this. Oh! So the box itself has like padding, and this is a bit like lower down. Oh! Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's actually, it feels really like heavy and nice. Ooh, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the heft of it. The back is not that pretty. It's like silvery, just metal. But then the front, when it's together, is cute. I think that's actually really nice. Look at the handles. Hold up, let me show you properly. That's pretty cute. It's a, it's a fun little subtle knickknack thing. And then lastly, I got the poly bag, the Draco Malfoy one. Again, probably the heat up sealed. Don't really have a forest to put it in, but nice to get like an extra little thing. 
it does make it feel better <laughs> when you're buying. And I also got some BAM because they had the, the new Halloween ones and, and they didn't have any made up as far as I could see. So I tried to put them together as I thought they were meant to go, but I may have strayed. So the first one is this witch who I loved and adored and I needed multiple of straight away. And then we've got, this is not the figure you're meant to make. This is, I, I gave up halfway through. I was like, I don't know what he's meant to look like, but I found like the cool jumper that looks like a skeleton and the skeleton legs. But then I added like, the dreams figure's face because you know i didn't know but then also i made this one which i think is how you meant to make this one so it's like a translucent head and then this is a super cool torso with like um like a skull on it if you can see and then the like cool legs he's cool i'm i'm very chuffed with him and they had a few things that i got really sad about all about wall as accessories they had the gray kittens Oh my goodness, so cute, so tiny. And it also had these cats. So obviously I got those. And I also ended up getting three more figures. The pajama ones, because I need the pajama torsos. I think I actually already have those torsos, I can't remember. I just got a bit carried away, what can I say? And another witch with my hair, because the hair was still on there, so I did that. And I also got a little bunny as an accessory as well, which is, I think, a Dreams one. I think I already had that bunny, but... You know, got a little bit carried away with my little figures. I'm very excited. I will show you what the clock looks like on my mantelpiece once I place it there. It's time to build the burrow, I think. I'm doing a live stream to showcase it, so but yeah, I'm very excited to share this all with you. That was probably the most excited I've been about any Harry Potter Lego for a long time. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the look of the train, uh, I love the look of Gringotts. It just wasn't ever like an, a set I felt I needed, so. I've left those, but this this one is a good one. Also, let's, let me just say, for shelf storage, this is great because the set is not that big, but it's very tall, so it's easier to display them for me anyway. So I'm very excited about this whole thing. Thank you so much for watching. I honestly tried to take more footage when I was in the Lego store, but it was literally like, ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And also it was busy because the DNT figures came out, so everybody was trying to scan them and take them in the bags, and it was a bit chaotic, to be honest, but, Probably out of all the launches I've been to, probably the worst, but at the same time, this time, a very popular bit d, d figure series was releasing, which the last two times I was for a launch wasn't happening, and I think that was adding to the chaos. I think in hindsight, they could have made it easier by pre-scanning uh, the boxes and just having piles of everyone, so people could just grab the ones that they wanted and leave, because the people scanning the minifigures for the ones that they wanted were definitely causing blockages which i don't blame them for that i just wish that lego could have anticipated that because that was kind of a little bit frustrating what can i say thank you so very much for coming along i hope you got the things that you wanted as well or if you're still saving up for the set i'm sure it's gonna be worth it when you get it thank you so very much i'll see you in the next one guys goodbye Hello.